I feel like I look really gross because I am gross. I just got done with so much stressful stuff, but I'm here and I wanted to finally film a video for you. My main channel uploads have been completely skewed and I have not uploaded in a very long time, so I will need to do that soon. But I thought it would be fun to film a little video and it's actually going to be a Q&A video. So I asked you guys on my Tumblr this time some questions you had for me revolving around age regression so I am going to answer those now they will all be anonymous for people's safety so I'm not gonna put who asked the question but yeah let's get started first question is if you can't buy adult passies do you have any recommendations for ones you could buy in store like brands basically I really highly suggest getting an adult passy if you can just because the baby ones can really hurt your teeth and affect your jaw and it can be really bad and cause damage in the long run but if you absolutely can't I really suggest the MAM 36 plus ones because any any pacifier that's 36 plus is going to be bigger than like the 18 to 36 or bigger than the like 6 plus ones so if you have to try to get one that is 36 plus or a bigger sized pacifier. When did you first know you were an age regressor? I discovered age regression and things revolving around it when I was about 15 years old and I found it through Tumblr. I found it through kink originally which is really bad but I very quickly realized that I was was not kink and then I found the age regression community in and of itself and I was like wow hey this is me this is something I'm like this is something I enjoy so I started up a blog and went from there so I've officially been an age regressor for about three years how often do you regress I actually regress very often like a little bit every day it's just something that makes it so my life is more bearable and so I can keep moving on going forward doing the things that I need to do I usually Usually set aside an hour each day to do it and sometimes I'll have spurts where I am regressed for like a week um, which isn't necessarily the best thing but it does help my mental health out a lot so I regress at least every day do you have any tips for regressing when you live with people who don't know you're a little yes I do. Hiding overtly little stuff like pacifiers and everything can be pretty difficult, but one thing that does not age is stuffed animals. If you have stuffed animals or like even Legos, which are more grown up toys, you can get away with using those, building with them, playing with them, and people don't really bat an eye just because people of all ages do it. I also suggest those bottles like that have like the water bottles that have like a straw thing on it because they're kind of like a sippy cup and people also won't ask you questions about it because they are made for adults. Do you know of any fun activities for people who regress to the ages of three and four? I feel like coloring is a pretty big one for those ages. I feel like coloring is a big one for any ages, but I feel like three and four things like Barbies, uh, coloring, even like the Duplo Legos, things like that can be really fun. Watching kids shows that are directed towards that age can also be really fun. But really for me at least there's not an age limit to the activities that I like to do, so I might do activities that would be for a seven or eight year old or like an infant but it doesn't really matter what age I'm regressing to as long as I'm doing like kitty things it kind of helps me get into the headspace. In your opinion what is the cutest diaper you've tried so far? All of my diapers are stacked over there and my room is a disaster so I cannot get up to get them but I think one of oh gosh it's Tied. Like, I love diapers so much, and there are so many cute ones. I really like the 2017 DC Amours. I also really like Rear Safari and ABU Little Paws are some of my faves. Also, Bambino Bellissimo and Bambino Classico are super cute, and I can wear those all the time, and I just, I love them. What does your dream room or nursery look like? For me, it would be having this big room. I want a little playpen. I want an adult-sized crib. I want, like, my little 4x4 that's filled with diapers. I want a toy chest and I don't know I haven't really thought super in detail about like what kind of clothes I want to have in the nursery or what kind of like colors and things like that it would be schemed around I just want it to be really cute and very babyish I'm always worried my daddy thinks my age regression is weird how can I help my worries if you are really scared that your daddy thinks that your age regression is weird I would suggest having a more adult conversation with him be like hey is this something that you're still okay with with. Is this, are you still okay with me calling you daddy? Are you still okay with me regressing? And for me personally, that's kind of like a deal breaker in a relationship. Like if somebody cannot be a caregiver or is not cool with me regressing, I'm like, all right, 
can't do that because it's such a big part of my life. So I would suggest having a real in-depth like adult style conversation with your daddy and figuring out why you feel that way. If you were to pick your number one stuffy, who would it be? Right now I think my number one stuffy is my most recent Build-A-Bear and that is Bean. He's in his PA days right now. He's got a little sugar cookie scent in him and he has a heartbeat so that's really cool and he's really comforting and he's adorable and I think he's just the perfect little teddy bear and I love him a lot. What do you dislike most about regressing? This is a really interesting question because I feel like I don't dislike anything but then when I get to thinking about it sometimes I'm stuck in my regressed headspace for so long that I'm not able to get my adult responsibilities done and I think not being able to like comprehend my adult responsibilities and like actively get them done when I'm regressed is probably the thing that I dislike the most. Can you describe your little space in three words? Oh wow, that is a good question. Can I describe it? Um, playful, curious, and excited. I think those are the three words that I would describe my little space with. Which stuffy have you had the longest? Um, I cannot get her down right now. She is up in my closet, but it is my very first Build-A-Bear ever. She's very similar to like the, I think it's called the like lavender teddy bear that Build-A-Bear has right now, but she was my first one that I ever got. I got her probably when I was six or seven years old, and she is the stuffy that I have had the absolute longest, and the Build-A-Bears are my favorite stuffies just because I feel like they're the perfect size, and I think she's the one that I've had for the longest time. Um, I probably have, I have this little dog named Brownie that I don't know where he is right now, but I've had him since I was like three or four, but yes, those are my long-term stuffies. What was the first little specific thing you bought? My mom actually took me out after I told her I was a little and she bought me my very first baby pacifiers uh, and they were blue and they were nook ones so you can't mod them. Um, but I obviously didn't know adult pacifiers were a thing at the time. So I got those pacifiers and I got some sippy cups that I still have. They are Batman themed and the only reason I got Batman ones because I don't even like Batman. I don't know anything about superheroes. But they were the only ones in the store at the time that were not pink. So those are the first items I got due to like regression and stuff. That is all of the questions I had today. I really hope you enjoyed this little Q&A for you and if you want me to do more Q&As please let me know in the comments below. Let me know where you want me to do them or if maybe next time you should leave some questions and I'll go look through my YouTube comments for them. I had a super fun time. I love you guys a whole lot and I will see you soon. Goodbye!